Johnny Depp lost out on several roles amid his ex-wife Amber Heard's domestic abuse allegations. However, according to recent reports from the French online portals, Depp is set to return in My Wen's untitled project on King Louis XV. But even before the movie hits the big screen, Amber is already doing everything she can to sabotage it. The 59-year-old actor will portray the French king Louis the Beloved, Mai Wen is directing the project and also plays Louis XV's mistress Jean du Barry. This is Depp's second role in the past two years since Warner Brothers replaced him as Grindelwald in the Harry Potter spin-off series Fantastic Beasts. Previously, he appeared in the 2020 biographical drama Minamata, where he portrayed American photographer W. Eugene Smith. So what did Amber say about Depp's new project that got people talking? Let's find out. Many fans rejoiced after the news of Johnny Depp's casting on this new project broke out. Several fans tweeted their support for the actor, who previously claimed that Hollywood had boycotted him. Numerous tweets also featured photoshopped images of the actor's face on King Louis XV's portraits. Latest reports indicate that production is about to wrap on My Wen's Le Favorite in just a few more days. French journalist Bernard Montiel, a person who is believed to be working close to Amber Heard, revealed that Depp and Mai Wen have not been getting along at all during the shoot of La Favorite. Montiel revealed that there was tension for months between the two. Millions of Depp fans now believe that this is propaganda aiming to sabotage the movie even before its official release. Supposedly, Mai Wen has been none too impressed by Depp's punctuality. The actor is said to be frequently late or just wouldn't show up to the set at all. Production is going very, very badly, according to Montiel, adding, they're just not getting along and keep fighting. According to Amber's ally, the director offered the role of Louis XV to Depp in his new historical film Jean du Barry, which will stream on Netflix as soon as the project wraps up. The filmmaker would have long dreamed of shooting with the actor before realizing that things were not so rosy in his company. While attending a program titled Do Not Touch My TV, Bernard Montiel said, I had echoes and it is very serious. He said on the set of C8, so he's a great actor when he comes on set, except that sometimes the team is ready at 6 a.m. and no one comes. So afterwards, my when the director gets angry, and the next day she's the one who doesn't come, while Johnny Depp comes. It is madness. They're fed up. It's going very badly. They argue all the time. The shooting of John Duberry started in August 2022 and will end as soon as possible, despite the many tensions that would reign on the side of the court of Versailles. But if this is a witch hunt, as it is believed to be, it won't be the first time Depp will be dealing with such. This year's Academy list of films eligible for Oscars included Depp's Minamata after years of a spirited witch hunt. The film was released in the U.S. by MGM Samuel Goldwyn Films in mid-December 2021 after they delayed the release for months amid Depp's controversies. During his interview with the British newspaper The Sunday Times in September 2021, Depp blamed the absurdity of media mathematics for the downfall of his career amidst the controversy with Amber. And it seems his ex-wife is working on reviving that bad publicity on Depp. The star's replacement as Grindelwald from the Fantastic Beasts sequel by Warner Brothers caused an ongoing uproar from fans. A legion of Depp supporters hit back against the studio when they did not remove Amber Heard from her role as Mira in Aquaman 2. Many felt that this was unjust to Depp as Amber admitted to hitting the actor in a voice recording which was cited in the recent lawsuit. Meanwhile, Depp's popularity in Europe seems to have not been affected by the controversy back in the U.S. Last year, he received recognition from Spain's San Sebastian International Film Festival, which bestowed him with a Donatista, which bestowed him with a Donostia Award. The actor also received a Karlovy Vary Award in Czech, so whatever they're trying to do, dimming Depp's light won't be that easy. Remember, this information is based on theories and opinions, and therefore shouldn't be considered facts. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!